Good morning, YouTube High Smokers. So, where do we start? Uh, about a month ago, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, I have a I received a phone call, and the phone call started off by the fella saying to me, "This is going to sound like a weird, crazy phone call, but I watch your YouTube channel, and I'm local in the Hudson Valley, and there's a Christmas party from the local pipe club, and if you'd like to attend, uh, you can, and he gave me the contact information. Well, the party was yesterday. It was held about only 10 minutes or 15 minutes from me um, in our local uh, gun club. So I went, and it was a very nice... Um, Nicely set up. It was like a mini pipe show. There was about 10 tables of people selling pipes. Um, the fella that invited me, matter of fact, makes this pipe. Which if you recognize it, it looks like a Bing's favorite. And it's called Merchant Service. You can go online and you can get these pipes. And here's the box. Uh, the store was closed. I just checked the website. He's opening up today again. I guess because of the pipe show, probably the pipe party. Um, but it's modeled after Bing's uh, favorite, and apparently uh, Bing Crosby did smoke a, a pipe made by a company called Merchant Service. So a little bit of history, but that really does look like a Bing's favorite. This is the sandblasted model. He has smooth, sandblasted, and rusticated. So that was that. So I had to have one of those parts, of course. Then, the same fellow that makes these pipes and invited me is friends with Ken Barron Ventures, which happens to be the guy that was selling tobacco in the Vegas pipe show, because he lives out in Nevada, I believe. And his tobaccos are very good. This is a new blend. So the fellow that called me uh, gave me a package of this. Very nice of him. It's very good. I had a bowl last night. And um, also, there was a McClellan anniversary tin that was not opened. And it's 2001. And this smokes really nice. And then a pipe stand with the beloved dog on it. Which I really like these old pipe rests with the dog. And what else? And I picked up this pipe. Very nice. This is another local guy that makes pipes. He has a store in uh, a little past Albany, New York. And uh, this is one of his pipes he makes, and he, he, he said he even makes the stem from scratch by mixing the acrylic. And there was another local pipe maker, and I fell in love with this pipe, even though it's not filtered, which we'll get to that in a minute. And this guy is about two or three hours north of me. Um, very nice guy, a young, younger pipe maker. Uh, really beautiful work. It's a really beautiful pipe. And, um, but once again, no filters at the pipe. Uh, they had a, um, oh, the, the guy that runs the pipe club, I think, um, he has a, uh, a history and a connection to K. Woody Pipes. And he makes... Uh, pipes under the K. Woody name, and he's also local and is a pipe maker about an hour from me, uh, where he makes pipes under the K. Woody brand. Um, S. W. Frank is what they he goes under, and he has the new release of a K. Woody pipe, and there's a whole history on the website, which I'll put a link in the bucket. And um, they're really good. I mean, it was really a nice, um, they had food. I, I couldn't stay for that. 
they had um, uh, liquor, uh, soda, coffee. Um, but there was a fireplace in the place. It was just a nice setting. Uh, everybody's uh, smoking their pipe. I met another um, guy that knows me from YouTube, who, matter of fact, is local. He has a business only like a, a mile from me. So I finally met him. Another guy came up to me and said he watches my YouTube videos. Uh, and he's local. Uh, so I may join that club. There's no charge to join the club. And they meet first Wednesday of every month. Which sounds like a nice thing. And uh, But once again, the old filtered pipe question comes into play. No filters there, except for... Um, there was a, uh, the guy I bought this pipe from had some uh, uh, medical pipes, and these are filtered. So, other than that, there wasn't a filtered pipe in the house. So, it always begs the question, uh, it bothers me so much. I mean, there's some really beautiful pipes that are not filtered that, like this one, I forced myself to buy because I really love the pipe. And I've been looking at it. There's no way I can convert this easily. I might be able to convert it to 6 millimeter somehow. But, so I'm going to revisit smoking a pipe without a filter. Uh, <clears throat> there's got to be a solution to this problem. Um, I know we went over this at nauseum, <laughs> but with, with the all the pipe smokers that were there last night, I'd say there had to be a rough guess 60 people there, I'd say, all smoking non-filtered pipes. Now somebody in that room has the same chemistry as my mouth. Same tongue, same everything. So if they can do it, there's got to be something to it. Um, it's got to be the, the cadence issue or something. There's got to be something. I don't believe there's got to be a way to smoke a pipe successfully without burning your tongue without a filter. I'm convinced of that. The more I see it, Otherwise, no, they would never sell pipes. And I can't believe somebody's smoking a pipe and living with tongue bite and continuing to do it. This would be like torturing yourself. So there has to be a solution. <clears throat> and it has to be the amount of speed you puff the pipe at. That's the only logical explanation there could be to this um situation. I don't buy the mouth chemistry. Yes, some mouths maybe are more sensitive, like some people can eat hot pepper, have a higher tolerance. Okay, I understand that. But there has to be a certain tobaccos that you could get away with in a non-filtered pipe. There has to be. And I'm going to figure that out one way or the other. Anyway, it was a really nice venue. I thank you for the guy that... Um, told me about it, and it was nice to meet him, along with the others that I met, and it was a good time. I wish I could have stayed longer, but um, for a local thing, it was really done well, um, and uh, very nice. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.